It's a technology that's drawn a lot of controversy. Shot spotter can pinpoint gunfire, but opponents say the benefit just is not worth the cost. Detroit's chief, Mayor Duggan, and all others say that it saves lives. Yeah, but opponents today said the $7 million the new units would cost could be better spent elsewhere. Let's bring in Grant Herms tonight. And Grant, this issue really came to a head today. Yeah, Sandra, Jason, it really did. On one side, you've got DPD who says this is a useful tool for stopping crime. And the other side, community members who want that money spent a different way in their neighborhoods. All of this coming as we have seen a string of mass shootings in the city of Detroit this summer. Controversy again over the city of Detroit's use of the policing program ShotSpotter. The program uses microphones placed around communities to listen for gunfire and report to DPD. Amid a summer where mass shootings have been seemingly inescapable, the city of Detroit looking to spend another $8 million, this time in federal money to expand the program. But not everyone is on board, including Detroit Councilwoman Gabriela Santiago Romero, who represents the city's north end. ShotSpotter will surveil our most black and brown and poor communities in the city. When we know that crime declines in communities that see investments in their street lighting, small businesses, and a reduction of blights. There have been findings that ShotSpotter may not be all it's cracked up to be. Recent reporting from the McCarthy Center for Justice found 86% of shots found in Chicago didn't turn up any evidence of a crime. And a report from Motherboard just last year found ShotSpotter analysts in other cities admitted to changing records to make it appear there were gunshots when there weren't. Still, the company says it's 97% accurate in finding shots fired. And Chief James White called ShotSpotter a tool that's supported by some in those same neighborhoods, saying they had 7,000 ShotSpotter findings, but just 700 calls for shots fired to 911. That's a very powerful realization. That means that we have members in our community that are not calling 911 uh, when they hear shots fired. And, and so that should be concerning for all of us. Well, the next step here is a vote by the city's Public Health and Safety Committee on Monday. If they approve that, Jason, it'll go to the full council for a vote on Tuesday. Back to you. Yeah, it's definitely fallen out of favor in Chicago. Grant, what makes me wonder now for us here is how big of an increase in funding for ShotSpotter would this be to Detroit? It's a pretty big increase. Right now, the city is spending about one and a half million dollars in that contract that will run through 2024. This is an increase of another seven million dollars in all, about eight million dollars asking here. This contract to federal money would also run to 2024. But for opponents, that's a pretty big price tag when they say mm -hmm. the DPD here is already asking for about three hundred sixty nine million dollars to run the department. They want to find this money yeah. somewhere else. Big Thank decision. You. All right, Grant, we appreciate it.